Have you ever thought about exploring something that's beyond this world? How about the moon? The ambitious world of space exploration has never stopped. If you thought that the space race was over, think again. Today, we look into the incredible journey of China's Chang'e 6 mission. This is the Space Technician signing on. The nation's robotic Chang'e 6 mission brought back some samples from the moon's mysterious far side to Earth on Tuesday, June 25th. This mind-blowing moment struck at 2.07 a.m. when the capsule landed in China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The probe will be airlifted to Beijing, where its cabin will be opened and the sample container will be removed. China's Chang'e 6 mission was launched on the 3rd of May 2024 from the Hainan province in South China. This mission was a part of China's Chang'e program, named after the Chinese moon goddess, and was designed to bring back samples from the far side of the moon. The design was something out of the ordinary and consisted of four modules, a lunar lander, a return capsule, an orbiter, and an ascender. After the launch, it arrived in lunar orbit five days later, not long after the lander touched down inside the Apollo crater. China's Chang'e program began in the early 2000s, intending to explore the moon and eventually establish a lunar base. They've been planning this for a long time, and the plan is quite simple. It's divided into several phases. The Chang'e 1 and 2 missions orbit around the moon, mapping its surface and providing data. Chang'e 3 and 4 took it one more step further by landing on the moon, with Chang'e 4 making history as the first mission to land on the far side. And let's not forget about Chang'e 5, which successfully returned in 2020, unfolding China's flag on the moon and bringing back about 2 kilograms of lunar samples. It made China the third country after the United States and the Soviet Union to achieve lunar sampling at the time. Not long after that, they were ready for their next mission. The stage was set to launch Chang'e 6, hoping to get a little further, and as they hoped, it did successfully land on the far side on June 1, 2024. The probe landed and took off again on the 4th of June and spent 13 days in the moon's orbit before returning to Earth. The collector had spent two whole days collecting rock and soil from one of the oldest and largest craters on the moon, the 1,600-mile-wide South Pole Aitken Basin, using a robotic arm and drill. The lander had collected about 4.4 pounds, which is about 2 kilograms of lunar material, using the drill and a scoop. It carried advanced scientific instruments, including a drill and a spectrometer, to collect and analyze the samples. The tools were not as simple as using spoons and forks. It required high precision as well as clarity on the subject. In total, the Chang'e 6 mission took 53 days from its launch on the 3rd of May from the Wenchang Space Launch Center in Hainan. Just as the news arrived, the ascent vehicle was launched from the lunar surface and it met up with the mission's orbiter a few days later. The process was incredibly complex and required precise timing and coordination. The collector headed back towards Earth within its capsule on around June 21st, as described by NASA, and then had a long journey to Earth. The return trip was not as easy as it looked. At first, the orbiter left the lunar orbit and started a trajectory motion towards Earth. When it got closer to the Earth, the re-entry capsule containing the precious cargo separated from the orbiter and began descending through Earth's atmosphere and finally landed with the samples successfully on Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2024, on the rural Sisiwang Banner region of Inner Mongolia. President Xi Jinping congratulated the China National Space Administration for another landmark achieved in my country's efforts to build space power and a scientific and technological power. However, descending through the Earth's atmosphere was not an easy process. The capsule withstood extreme heat and pressure as it traveled at a very high speed. Its design included heat shields and a precise trajectory to ensure it lands safely and sound in the designated area. The parachute really did have to survive the stress. The moment it landed, it marked a significant milestone in lunar science, providing scientists with pristine samples of the moon. China has now become the first country to collect samples from the far side of the moon. The successful return of the lunar material wraps up a highly successful mission for the China National Space Administration, or the CNSA. Chang'e 6 is obviously not the first successful lunar sample return mission. The Soviet Union, the United States, and China again successfully brought back samples to Earth. However, Chang'e 6 is designed to build on the success of Chang'e 5, but what makes it so special and unique? Let's find out. The samples that all the previous missions have brought back were all dirt and rock, and they were from the side that always faced the Earth. What made Chang'e 6 different from them was that it successfully brought back samples from the far side, which is more difficult to explore. 
the so-called dark side of the moon has long captivated the attention of many. Now, what is this far side or the dark side that everyone's been talking about? The mission aimed to land in the South Pole, Aitken Basin, which basically means the far side. It's one of the oldest and largest impact basins of the moon. The moon shows only one face to the Earth as it is tidally locked and completes one full rotation in the time it takes to circle the planet. The far side is quite different from the near because it faces away from the Earth and a relay satellite is required to communicate with spacecraft that operate there. Therefore, it's never been studied thoroughly and hence has piqued the interest of the scientists and researchers, made them even more curious about it and got them excited to get a closer look into the sample. It could provide clues about the early history of the moon, its inner structure, the lunar volcanoes and the solar system, and who knows, it might reveal some other hidden facts about our planet Earth. Recovering samples from the far side is tremendously exciting scientifically, as we only have very limited information on the geology there, Barstow said. It's been processed very differently to the side of the moon facing us, which has been extensively resurfaced by volcanic activity in the past, creating the maria from which most samples have been obtained. These insights are of extreme value and are critical for understanding the processes that shaped the early moon and the Earth. Additionally, these samples can provide insights into the history of impacts in the solar system, shedding light on how the celestial bodies have evolved over billions of years. For instance, the formation of the SBA basin formed 4.26 billion years ago, which was blasted out by asteroids and comets during a violent stretch known as the Late Heavy Bombardment. We might also detect the presence of water and other volatiles on the moon. Ian Crawford, a professor of planetary science at Birkbeck University of London, said dating the SBA was the key objective of lunar science because it could provide us with the time frame for lunar cratering. He added that constraining this is important for understanding the impact regime under which life first appeared on Earth. According to planetary science, this could also have implications regarding the origin of Earth, and added that it is possible that the asteroids carried water and other organic molecules and materials to planet Earth. It's possible that the SPA has excavated deep enough to expose the lunar mantle, and possible that fragments might be found in the Chang'e 6 samples. It's a long shot, but it's worth looking, Crawford said. The far side was never shielded from Earth and had more exposure to violent impacts. Chang'e 6 is not just a Chinese mission. It is an international collaboration. France, Sweden, Italy and Russia are contributing scientific instruments and expertise to the mission. This collaboration highlights the importance of working together in space exploration. By pooling resources and knowledge, we could achieve greater scientific breakthroughs. Chang'e 6 is part of a broader vision for lunar exploration. China's plans don't stop here. China has more lunar missions planned this decade. Future missions, including Chang'e 7 and 8, aim to further explore the moon's surface and even establish a robotic research station. China is also looking forward to landing an astronaut crewed mission by the year 2030. These missions will pave the way for human exploration and possibly the establishment of a lunar base. The moon could become a stepping stone for deeper space exploration, including missions to Mars and beyond. As we look to the future, it's clear that the moon holds many secrets waiting to be uncovered. Chang'e 6 is a crucial step in that journey, bringing us closer to understanding our celestial neighbor and our place in the universe. Dr. Simon Barber, a senior researcher at The Open University, said, We're entering a new era of discovery, and getting samples returned from the far side is a milestone achievement that'll help us understand the geological history in that region, and why it differs so markedly from the more familiar near side. Specialized laboratories around the world have spent five decades finessing the analytical techniques to tease out the moon's secrets from within near-side samples returned by the Apollo and Luna to learn about the enigmatic far side of our nearest neighbor in space. Establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon could serve as a stepping stone for deeper space exploration, including missions to Mars and even beyond. The moon could become a hub for scientific research and technological development, driving innovations that benefit mankind. The return of Chang'e 6 has created more anticipation among the people and has left them more curious than ever. It's a remarkable milestone, but as we all know, space remains a mystery to this date, and this is just the beginning. As we look up to the stars, the vastness of space remains full of untold secrets and boundless opportunities for discovery. Each mission, whether it be to the moon, Mars, or beyond, always brings us closer to understanding our place in the universe. What are your thoughts about the lunar samples? Do you have any theories? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update.
This is the Space Technician signing off for now. I'll see you Space Cowboys in the next one.